Hello guys, this is The Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty 2020 Black Ops Cold War video or whatever ends up being the final name of this year's Call of Duty game developed by Treyarch in assistance with Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software. Now, interestingly enough, Treyarch have been pretty silent, obviously. This is the latest we have ever seen a Call of Duty reveal and the days are still counting and we might not even see it for a while yet. The last big thing that we heard from them was obviously the their little trailer that they released celebrating 10 years since the original Black Ops game. I love that trailer and I'm sure there are some little clues hidden in there, some little subtle things towards Call of Duty 2020 as that is what Treyarch love to do. But recently over the past two days they have released two different developer profiles for what it's like to be an engineer over at Treyarch and what it's like to be working on the art and animation side of things. Now obviously regardless of what you think about Call of Duty in terms of its gameplay and and stuff like that, the engineering and the art style and the animation that goes into these games is phenomenal and these guys are very talented at their jobs and I think that it is really good that Trek are actually showcasing to us a lot of the behind the scenes work that goes into Call of Duty that the general fans just don't see because people will hop on Call of Duty, they'll rage about whatever unbalanced thing or whatever the case may be, a certain glitch or anything like that without really appreciating each individual that has put in the work into these games because often things like the art style and the animation and the engineering gets overlooked by certain gameplay decisions and stuff like that. Also I think it's good that Treyarch are showcasing more developers so we can put more names to Treyarch because countless times for example in interviews with Jason Blundell who unfortunately is no longer at Treyarch obviously he would constantly say whenever people would refer to him as the zombies leader or say thank you to him for everything he has put into Treyarch over the years he would always say you know don't just give me the appraisal, there are hundreds of employees that have worked tirelessly to pump out these games and they all should be credited for their hard work and although we obviously see them in the credits at the end of the campaign and stuff like that, I think it is good that they are actually showcasing to us a lot more developers so we can put names and faces towards the branding of Treyarch. There's more people that we can look up to. Well anyway, since they've put these out over the last two days, I'm assuming there's probably going to be even more. They're probably going to tackle every single different faction within Treyarch and a lot of people have been talking about well maybe they've snuck in some cheeky Call of Duty 2020 teasers within these little clips since obviously the community is anxiously waiting for the official COD 2020 reveal in the meantime you know they might just be hiding some little clues within these videos. Obviously we don't know that for sure however I would definitely recommend just going through and looking at all of the stuff that is showcased within the background within these two videos and seeing if you can spot anything because there was one thing that a lot of people have noticed, a lot of people have been tweeting this image to me, but there was one specific shot in which it obviously showed someone editing some sort of video. You can see the colour correction, colour wheels at the bottom with gamma gain, offset, etc. And when people first saw this image they were like, hang on, that's not a Treyarch game and some people didn't really know what it was, some people were saying world at war and a lot of people were saying maybe this is Call of Duty 2020. Well it turns out that this shot is actually from Call of Duty World War 2 specifically the mission set in Paris. Now the reason as to why I think this is important is because as you guys know it has been leaked and rumoured for quite some time that Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games are working together in assistance with Raven Software for Call of Duty 2020. Obviously Sledgehammer Games were the primary developer of World War 2 so maybe by them adding in this little shot it's just letting us know that yes Sledgehammer Games are indeed helping out unless whoever was actually editing whatever this was from helped out with World War 2 in some way shape or form. I have no idea. Another possibility as to why Call of Duty World War 2 was showcased within this track video is because what if they actually showed us what could potentially be a trailer for COD 2020 and within the trailer they might just have a bit which recaps what Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software have previously worked on and maybe that is why World War 2 was showcased. Maybe this this could be an upcoming trailer for COD World War 2 which as we're saying might just give some background behind the developers and you know it could explain as to how Call of Duty 2020 came to be, obviously it's going to be set in the Cold War and it could explain some sort of backstory as to why Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games are working together. Obviously there have been lots of rumours about them falling out and stuff like that so I'm guessing when they get around to marketing this game they will want to put all of those rumours to rest and try and explain how they are working 
working together and paint it as a happy atmosphere and an epic collaboration. But as we were saying, I definitely recommend going ahead and checking out these two different videos released by Treyarch and seeing if you can spot any teasers. And well, a lot of people are saying since they're releasing these videos, maybe, just maybe, the Call of Duty 2020 reveal is going to be pretty close. I still think it is a little while away. Unfortunately, that is what it is rumoured to be at this current point in time. Obviously, no one knows for sure and all dates are subject to change. But Eurogamer are saying that it's a lot later than people expect, as well as Jason Schreier. Long Sensation is also saying it could be as far back as August, so it might be a little while until we actually see the Call of Duty 2020 reveal, unfortunately. As you guys know, it is going to be somehow tying into Call of Duty Warzone's live event where something is going to happen to do with the nuke, etc. So we're just going to have to wait and see how this all plays out. Now, what I'm going to do for you guys right now is I'm just going to play the two original videos from Treyarch. Obviously, I will leave a link to Treyarch's YouTube channel down in this video's description. They don't have as many subscribers as Call of Duty's channel, so a lot of people tend to miss stuff that they upload over there. But yeah, if you want to go ahead and just go through these two different videos frame by frame and see if you can spot anything in the background, if you do notice anything that could potentially be a teaser for Call of Duty 2020, you can simply go ahead and tweet at me at my new Twitter account, which is just at the gaming Revo 3 which will be linked down in this video's description. Anyways, enjoy these two videos from Treyarch. As I was saying, I'm glad that Treyarch have released these because it's good to see that all of the developers are starting to get more appreciation rather than just the figureheads or the public figures such as David Von der Haar, for example. So yeah, enjoy the videos. Video games have this key component about storytelling that no other medium has. Then I realized that video games are actually the future of interactive storytelling. My job as the engineer is to bring the ideas that exist in Dreamscape and bring them into the world of reality. People work in games not because it's something easy, it's because it's something hard. It's because you can do the best work of your life, the best work of your career in games. There's a lot of different types of jobs in engineering where there's an upper ceiling of how good you can be, how well you can deliver. But for games, there's no upper bound. You can always make it better. Everyone here is at the top of their game, right? With those challenges where it's something that isn't really real, but I need to make it look real, comes a need for flexibility, for adaptability, and the freedom to fail, the freedom to fail forward. The difference working at Treyarch, it's, a, it's obviously Call of Duty is very high profile, so there's always the need to do better and better. There's that constant improvement which as an artist, you know, you do want to constantly improve. So being in an environment where that's expected helps push you forward. People that take initiative to do that on their own, they're going to find a lot of success here. I think we stay competitive and we stay in front of the technological curve, partially because there's a high expectation bar. We have a lot of really, really clever engineers and tech people in this building, and we don't really leave a lot of stones unturned. 
I am challenged daily by the tasks that I have on my plate. And what's cool is that not just my peers, but my manager, my lead, and even the studio heads, they encourage us and encourage me to try different ways of getting to the goal. Because the people here inspire you to raise the bar. It, it pushed me to broaden my own horizons, to raise my own skill levels. It's a team effort, and that's what you need in order to not only succeed, but to make amazing games, and that's what we do here. Expectations for proficiency is definitely very high. I think it's really important to recognize that Triac is the opportunity where, as an artist, you will find challenges like nowhere else. And you'll find support like nowhere else. It's a place where you can find a lot of opportunities, a lot of responsibilities can be given to you. You can grow within it. And at the end of the day, the games we make, they're state of the art. People are willing and able to listen to uh, constructive feedback and implement it into the next iteration of whatever it is they're working on, especially us as effects artists. My first impression walking into Treyarch was, oh wow, this is, this is a whole new level. I'm Mike Chubb, I'm a senior visual effects artist here at Treyarch, I've been here for eight years. Yuri Nedelin, I'm a lead artist, and I've been at Treyarch for a little bit over a year. Caleb Turner, I'm a senior weapons artist here at Treyarch, and I've been here for 10 plus years. My name is Scott Wells, I'm a senior character artist here at Treyarch, and I've been here uh, about 12 and a half years. Brian John Anderson, I'm the technical art director, and I've been at Treyarch for 17 years. 